there. This is the Sons of a Seller YouTube page, uh, first ever upload, first ever video. Uh, I had hoped to do a proper video uh, with proper editing, some slides, some effects, but unfortunately uh, the laptop, my laptop, is in the shop at the moment being repaired. Uh, so I'm going to have to settle for me talking into my phone with not the best quality uh, picture uh, or sound, as I could probably imagine. Uh, so yeah, this video I really wanted to do, um, regardless of whether it was a nice looking or sound, a, you know, nice looking or sounding video, um, because the, a lot has happened since our last game of the season uh, when we won five one away at Fisher. Uh, yeah, a lot has happened at Lord Ashford United, and um, we've made some fantastic signings. We've had a full pre-season uh, friendly schedule. We've had some good results. We've had some not so good results. Uh, I'll get into them. And also just to keep up with the news um, around the club, um, especially around the 3G pitch, which I'll get onto. So first of all, uh, yeah, since the, uh, the 11th of uh, last month, July, um, we've played quite a few fixtures and uh, I've just picked out the most notable ones. Uh, so yeah, on Saturday the 18th, uh, we went away to Hearn Bay, who were in the league above us in the Ryman South. Um, and they beat us 2-0. Um, from what I've heard, what I've read, it was a good performance by us, but unfortunately the class uh, of the team above us, uh, in the league above us, uh, you know, overtook us. And um, yeah, we were, we were beaten quite understandably uh, well. Uh, the next match was on Thursday the 23rd. We went away to New Romney and we won 6-0. Um, as with all the games, we've had a lot of trialists and we've had a lot of um, not necessarily first team players. Um, playing in our squads, I mean, we, and I think at one point we had f uh, four normal midfielders in defence. Um, shows just how much we're changing uh, the team around at the moment. On Saturday the 25th, we went around uh, down to Folkestone, uh, our arch nemesis, I suppose, of uh, years gone by. Uh, and it was a resounding 7-2 loss for us. Uh, we did get two very good goals, but um, uh, as the same uh, as, uh, as the Herne Bay match, they were just too good for us. And um, hopefully, if we are get to, get to going to get uh, promoted this season, we will get some class in the squad and um, be prepared for you know a year in the Roman South next season, fingers crossed. Um, then on Tuesday the 28th, um, we lost a 2 0 at Ramsgate. Again, league above us, so it's not entirely uh, ex uh, surprising that that was the result. But um, again, from what I've heard, we played really well. Uh, we had a lot of the ball and we had quite a few good chances, and uh, our keeper made lots of saves. Uh, one particularly good one, I've been told, at point blank range, one that Peter Cech would be uh, very proud of. And then yesterday, Saturday the 1st, we lost, uh, sorry, we won 1 0 away at Hive Town. Uh, Hive Town, again, being our rivals from days of old. Um, and they're from the league above, so for us to get a win there was absolutely fantastic. Um, moving on to the signings. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, Jamie Bossio, the Gibraltar International, coming to us from uh, Gibraltarian side. Uh, Red uh, Lincoln Red Imps. Uh, he played in the Champions League uh, less than a couple of weeks ago, and he will be playing in the Champions League um, before, I believe, before he goes out to uh, it comes to us in September. Now, the reason why he's coming to us in September and not immediately at the beginning of the season is, as he is an international, uh, he's going to have to um, see off his international duties first before he can get ready for uh, you know to come to the homelands. So uh, yeah, a bit of background on him. I mean, I wrote a little bit of a, a write up for him on the Sons of a Seller Facebook page, and uh, yeah, the picture I've got there was him marking Andre Scherler when he was playing for Gibraltar against Germany, and that picture was taken in Munich, I believe. Um, fantastic, we've got an international quality player coming to us. It's not often that, especially at our level, um, international players. You know, pop up in teams. I think there's only uh, in the scaffold, the league that we're in. I think there's only two other internationals, and I believe one of them is a Montserrat international goalkeeper who plays for Tunbridge Wells. Um, so yeah, also we've got uh, Paul Booth moving into us, uh, moving to us from Tunbridge Wells, 38 uh, striker, quite prolific, uh, I believe for the the most part of his career. Uh, he's coming to us also in a coaching capacity. We're uh, going to be in the coaching setup underneath the manager Paul Chambers and uh, alongside Lloyd Blackman. Um, he's got bags of experience, especially at this level, and I believe that he's going to be a really good player for us um, when we watched him against Tunbridge Wells 
uh, when, playing, when we were playing against Tunbridge Wells before, he was very, uh, he, he was definitely a threat. Um, we've also brought in Michael Yarny, uh, who came in on loan to the end of last season from Hive, um, and Craig Thompson also from Hive. These are two very good players um, who are experienced in the league above. And you know, just harking back to what I was saying a minute ago, if we are going to get up into the Ryman South uh, and be there next year, we are going to need players like that with experience. Um, on a more sad note, uh, Colin Brunger, an avid fan, always went to away games from what I've been told, and the groundsman for, new, for many years worked very hard making sure that our turf was as good as it could be for our matches. Uh, unfortunately, passed away. Uh, it's a sad loss for the club. Uh, our club, especially as it's known now as United, was founded on people um, getting involved with the club and um, you know the community getting involved and helping the club run. And it's sad that you know people that helped you know both town and united um or a person that helped both a uh, town and united um won't be there to see the new 3g pitch and the new signing so um yeah that's uh that's really sad news um moving on to the 3g pitch as i'm sure you're aware if you've liked our facebook page and if you've been reading the local papers we've got a brand new state-of-the-art uh, 3g pitch going in at the homeland similar to that used at maidstone united's gallagher stadium um it's going to put us a, a level above a lot of teams that are in our league because um, it's a source of revenue. I mean, we ground share of Canterbury City. We've also got Kennington coming to play at the Homelands. We've got five aside and um, local championship games, and it's going to be really um, exciting to see. And a better style of football can be played on 3G pitch um, because the bounce is better. It doesn't get soaking wet. And it doesn't get spongy, and um, I believe. It will give us uh, a bit of an advantage when we're coming up against teams who are, lo you know, used to playing on their local park more or less. That's what the pitch feels like. Um, but in the process of uh, installing the 3G pitch, we've had to. Uh, it was got very delayed because of operations stack, like most businesses in Kent, over the last uh, couple of months. So it's only arrived in the last few days, and it's been installed now. Now the likelihood is that next Saturday, our first home game of the season against Beckenham Town, which we're all very much looking forward to, isn't going to take place at the Homelands. Uh, I think it's about 90% certain it's not going to happen. If it does, fantastic. But um, the the fixture, the home fixture against Beckenham will be moved uh, to be played at Hive Town. A um, bit difficult to get to. Uh, and it's also a bit, it's not the cheapest away day, especially in Ashford. There's no trains down there. You've got to get on the bus or you've got to drive. So um, not quite happy with that. Um, but hey, hum, when the match, when the pitch is put in and uh, it gets to the winter months, the amount of games we're going to actually play and not have them postponed is going to you know make up. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, next thing is we're looking over the matches that are coming up uh, for the Sons of Seller to go and watch. Um, uh, realistically, our first home game of the season is going to be at the Homelands. It's going to be against Lordswood on Tuesday the 25th. Of course, we'll be up there. Um, and uh, on... And another fixture to perhaps whet your appetites for, if you fancy it, and a good little away day is Cray Valley Paper Mills. We've got them in the FA Cup, the very first round of the FA Cup qualifying. Um, and if we beat them, we've got a nice home fixture to look forward to against Hastings United, um, one of our old rivals from the old Kent League days. So it'd be great to go uh, get them. And perhaps maybe if we've got a draw at the Homelands, a nice little away day down in Hastings. Um, and also, uh, Bank Holiday Monday, uh, at the end of this month, uh, we are away to Canterbury City, of course, Grand Share of the Homelands with us. So I'll be hoping to see lots of people up there. It's on the Monday. Um, and uh, yeah, the first, I think it's the first Saturday of the of September, we have got Tunbridge Wales away. The two most supported clubs in our level, uh, Tunbridge Wales and us. Uh, it'll be a decent match. There'll be lots of singing and uh, I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, that was it. So hopefully you're all caught up. I will, uh, as always, on our Twitter. Facebook, Twitter, blogs, and we'll get news as it comes through to us and we'll put it through and um, keep you all informed if anything happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, God might smile on us and uh, a miracle might happen and uh, next Saturday we will be at home, but we're not getting our hopes up too much. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry for the poor quality of the video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Come on, you nuts and bolts!